Good morning everyone, I'm TJ and today I will talk about structural damping in finite element models. FEDEM is using Rayleigh damping which is mass and stiffness proportional uh, and that means you can use alpha 1 uh, which is the mass proportional damping ratio and alpha 2 which is the stiffness proportional damping ratio to precisely define the damping of two uh, resonance frequencies which are measured. Uh, however, you will see that to use mass proportional damping is not straightforward. I will teach you how to use Rayleigh damping to eliminate numerical noise. Uh, sometimes even the best integration algorithms can uh, cause uh, numerical noise and then you might have to use some stiffness proportional Rayleigh damping to eliminate those unwanted effects. Then I will show you how you can calculate the logarithmic decrement and damping ratio for a given mode shape and frequency based on measurements. And then based on those uh, the damping ratios for two different um, vibration modes, we can calculate the correct mass and stiffness proportional damping. And I will also tell you why mass proportional damping literally sucks sometimes. Uh, here you see the formulas for the Rayleigh damping. Uh, alpha 1 is the mass proportional damping ratio and alpha 2 is the stiffness proportional damping ratio. And you, see, you can see here the alpha 2 uh, damps high frequency vibrations while the alpha 1 is the mass proportional damping ratio damps out low frequencies. And uh, uh, here you can see how these relates. The, this is the damping ratio for a given mode and these are alpha 1 and alpha 2 factors. If you tweak that equation you can actually calculate alpha 1 and alpha 2 based on two known damping ratios which are based on measurements and I will also show you how you can estimate those. Here you see a typical damped vibration. This one is uh, defined by this equation here you see the damping um, term and the harmonic uh, oscillation term and the given uh, boundary conditions, initial boundary conditions. However, you can imagine that this is from a physical test of one single vibration mode. It's important that you initiate uh, just one mode at a time in order to measure these uh, damping ratios. Let's say that uh, you start this oscillation, you use a hammer or whatever, and you measure the first peak, it could be x1, and then after uh, three periods, uh, you measure the last peak, which is then x4. And uh, then you can calculate the ratio between x1 and x4, it's given here, this is x1, this is x4, and then you calculate the logarithmic value of that term, and you divide it by the uh, number of cycles between the two measurements. So it's the logarithmic value divided by n equals 3. And then you find the logarithmic decrement of exactly this vibration mode and eigenfrequency. When you have that value uh, you can easily calculate the damping ratio for that eigen mode. It's simply given by 2p divided by the logarithmic decrement power of that one plus one square root and you get the damping ratio. You can also tell that uh, with the low damping values uh, this term becomes much bigger than one and that means that you can simply estimate the damping ratio uh, given as the logarithmic increment divided by 2p. So that's a simple way of calculating it. I've prepared a spreadsheet for you and here you have omega 1 and omega 2. Those are two eigenfrequencies that you can specify the damping for. And C1 is the damping ratio of omega 1 and C2 is the damping ratio of omega 2. Uh, if you don't know these or you don't have any kind of measurements you might find them on the MAT web or any other uh, material catalog. Uh, and I have added some of them in uh, the spreadsheet as well. If you don't find those, uh, you can measure them and calculate the damping ratios based on this part of the spreadsheet. But here you see that alpha 1, which is the mass proportional damping, uh, is calculated uh, based on these four inputs. Uh, 
and also the stiffness proportional damping. And these are the values that you enter in the FEDEM uh, property window for a given component. Um, if you don't have those numbers and you don't find them on the web or anywhere else, you can do a physical test to check them out as I showed you. And then you specify the first amplitude uh, that you measure and the next amplitude and then the number of periods between each peak. And then this, uh, the spreadsheet calculates the logarithmic decrement for you and also the damping ratio. And if you s measure this for each of the two modes that you can apply damping for, you use this spreadsheet to calculate the C value here, which you then enter in this input field. And then you repeat it for the next frequency as well. So you use this spreadsheet to calculate these two values twice. Here you see the FEDE model of a springboard. It has only one component, so it's not an assembly. Um, but let's uh, check here. We see that I have applied no mass proportional and stiffness proportional damping. Before I do so, I want to check the eigen modes of this system. So I can go to the system mode animation and I can load mode number one. And this is the first uh, springboard mode shape. It has a frequency of 14 Hertz. Then I want to look at the next system mode. Uh, this is the second mode and it has an eigen frequency of 93. Uh, notice that I have a load in the middle here, which I will use as my excitation load. And that's because it will, when I hit this point with a square pulse function, it will initiate both the, those two modes, because I want to study the vertical vibration of this springboard. Let's have a look at the third mode. It's a sideway oscillation. So that means this mode is not of interest for me. Uh, so it's more important for me to apply correct damping for the first two modes. Uh, and um, what I do then is to notice the eigen frequencies. It's 14 Hz for the mode number 1. And it's 93, I think, for mode number 2. There it is. Let's check uh, the results for this one. We can check the displacement. And here you see the fast Fourier analysis of the oscillation. It shows me that I have a resonance frequency. Let's uh, zoom. Of roughly 14 Hertz and 93 Hertz. I can uh, switch off this um, fast Fourier transform. And here you see the oscillation. This is the oscillation without damping. And um, you saw the fast Fourier transform on this one, which contained two modes, basically. You see here. Then I have to apply correct damping on these two modes. So um, let's do some calculations. And then I use my spreadsheet. And uh, here you can tell that I've um, uh, used omega-1, it's 14.2, uh, which was the first mode, and then 93, which was the second mode. And in this example, and this model, I used a steel material, and I estimate uh, this uh, C1 damping to be roughly 1%, and C2 roughly 2%. And that gives me the alpha factors of um, 1.26. I make a note, 6.47. And then I will use these two values in, in FEDEM in order to damp the vibration. So the mass proportional was roughly 1.26. And the stiffness proportional damping was 6.47 in power minus 5. 
then we can run the simulation once more. Run. And there we are. Now we have a damped vibration. And um, this represents then uh, roughly 1% damping of the first mode, which is the mass proportional dominated mode. And then uh, there's uh, roughly 2% damping on mode number two, which was in the range of 93 hertz. So this is how you apply structural damping. However, what you should know is that the mass proportional damping actually works like a kind of drag effect when you have rigid body motion in finite element models. And in FEDEM, you actually simulate the mechanism. So when you apply mass proportional damping, you should be careful because it might, it might introduce fake drag effects. And those are not uh, wanted. So in most FE solvers, and also especially in FEDEM, uh, you should be careful with using the mass proportional damping. Instead, you should try to avoid using it and only use stiffness proportional damping, and then apply correct damping on one of the frequencies. So that concludes my presentation on how to use um, structural damping in FEDEM or the Rayleigh damping. Thanks for watching.